Hey everyone, how's it going? I am so excited to do a deconstruction of this simple photo that I posted, I don't know, a couple days ago. It did pretty well, uh, and I always like to take a deeper dive when I can. I know um, many of you here have requested uh, specific photos um, over the last like month or two, and I've just kind of been uh, trying to get and review stuff out and um, other, other projects that I've just been trying to knock out. But this one is a quick and easy enough deconstruction that I wanted to go ahead and knock it out. All it requires is a single particular lens, but there is a catch, <laughs> like everything in life, there's a catch to that lens. The lens I'm referring to is this, and I have some pictures of it somewhere on my desktop. Let's see, where did I put them? It is the Canon uh, 45 millimeter tilt shift. Uh, so this guy right here. Now, uh, one of the things I love uh, about deconstructions with manual lenses like this is that uh, you don't actually have to be a Canon photographer. Uh, you don't have to have even a Canon camera for this uh, lens to work because it is manual focus. All you need is um, something that has the right uh, adapter mount for your system. So this should translate to Sony, to Nikon, to all the other um, cameras that are out there. Uh, simply because it is a manual focus lens, there's none of that AI. Uh, motor uh, necessary. Uh, the catch with this, right? So Canon designed this lens, the, the initial batch, it, it seems, it's a little wishy-washy and I can't find anything really on the internet about it, but there was a particular batch of these lenses where uh, coating wasn't applied yet or was just missing or forgotten about or whatever. And it created uh, it, what they would decided was a problem, <laughs> uh, right? It created this look, this really cool, natural to the lens uh, ring effect, this kind of nice rainbow uh, flare. It looks very organic and natural to the lens. You know, it's kind of got the ring of fire vibe, but it's easier to control because it's just built into the lens. You don't have to float anything with your, you know, holding it between your fingers in front of the lens or anything like that. Um, it's pretty like one dimensional in that it has a single look and that's it. But uh, I think it's very, very uh, beautiful and nice and natural. Let me, let me play the video real fast of what it looks like after they quote fixed the issue. So this is a later tilt shift lens where they added the coating and the flare went away. Cool. So um, it is a tilt shift lens, which means not only can you get a really beautiful flare from this particular tilt shift, but you can also get really fun focus effects. I didn't use those focus effects in any of these uh, these images. I'm going to play you the, the GoPro footage, the behind the scenes of how I, you know, shot through this whole moment and everything. But yeah, it's just, here it is. This is the lens. Now, here's, here's the other catch, and I'll post this uh, along with the, uh, the video in the article. Uh, there seems to be, uh, I'm trying to find a correlation or exactly when the batch of lenses that have this flare were made. Uh, the bottom side of any uh, tilt shift lens has this series of uh, codes, a U and then a letter and then a couple of numbers. I have two of these tilt shift lenses and uh, both of them have uh, separate years of manufacture. So let me just find it. So this is a UA, which means it was made in the year 2012. It does not have the flare, uh, but the other one, which is a UB, does have the flare, so 2013. And I don't have <laughs> more or enough to, to check all the later dates, but it seems like there may have just been one year or maybe two years where uh, they didn't or maybe it was just a couple of months. Uh, it's hard to say exactly, but all I know is the UB lens that I have, uh, and it was manufactured, let's see, UB0506. So UB0, so it was just May of 2013, does have a flare. So if you happen to come across one of these that you really want, um, there's a good chance if it was in 2013, around the month of May, um, it will do this uh, flare effect. But you can always, if you can get access to the lens or if you're buying it used, you could ask the person to sell that selling it to you to, to just do this quick test, you know, make a, a video with an iPhone um, flash just right up in front of it and see if you're getting this cool ring spiral. Obviously the ring looks way, way cooler when you have a brighter light like the sun. 
or something like that to uh, to create um, you know the overall effect the way that I did uh, with this. So I'm going to load up the video and just scroll through um, my Lightroom photos, the raw files as I'm shooting. I'm not using any tilt or shifting. It's just straight on manual focus uh, to get the bride in focus, and it's at f 2.8. I didn't play with any aperture settings. Shooting just shooting simply right into the sun. You get this beautiful uh, circular flare. So let me go ahead and. All right, I'll tell you when to go. Give me one second. You don't have to tilt this at all? That's amazing. Yeah, it's just a cultural choice. Okay, we're good. We can do this as many times as you feel you want, but this looks amazing. Yeah, just go for it. That's awesome. Beautiful. And then can we do another few, but kind of, uh, kind of watch your hand as you're going, just to sort of, yep. Beautiful. I love, you're so natural at this, it's crazy. <laughs> Very nice. You dizzy yet? <laughs> you getting good? You, you got what you need? You, you good? Beautiful. Uh, Cool. Just final confirmations with the uh, videographers there. Um, oh, and then I think I did shoot one or two more when she was just walking up toward me, but because it was manual focus, it, it uh, obviously wasn't going to... Uh, uh, my, my focus skills are not that good, <laughs> sadly. So that's basically it. The uh, the final edit, obviously, uh, the raw file here. I'm using uh, Signal Flow, which I've talked a lot about, but we'll get more into. So I'm actually composing and, and creating an entire uh, sort of tutorial slash workshop component to be released along with the final preset uh, collection when it comes out. But I'm going to take an element of that. I'm going to extract and make specifically just for patrons um, a really cool section, probably the most interesting part <laughs> of that tutorial. Um, about how I'm leveraging, uh, what I'm leveraging to create a new sort of uh, interpretation of the colors within Lightroom and how you can do that yourself if you want. So I'm working on that tutorial right now. Uh, anyway, at the end of the day, uh, it was just a you know, simple edit using my signal flow preset, the, the core information I hope I've made very clear about the lens that I'm using, uh, why I think it applies to everybody. And if you can find one of the specific lenses that was made with the faulty or no coding at all that creates this really cool flare, I highly recommend you do that. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for your attention. Bye.